there was this security guard uh, that was at my high school for a short time. He used to be like a bounty hunter or something. Yeah, yeah, that dude was awesome. And that dude was cool. This big dude, he was like probably like 300 pounds. He walked around school with just like, like a, a knife, on, he, like a big like, big, hunt, like hunting, <laughs> hunting knife. Hunting knife, yeah. He had, he had like a mohawk. Yeah, and like, he was awesome. And like he, um, he was like real cool. He talked like this. Yeah. <laughs> and he's always walking around the halls and he's like always like, I think he was like he always would always like touch the girls. <laughs> he would like, like he would like hit on like fourteen year old yeah. girls. That's <laughs> pretty crazy. But like it, it was hilarious. They didn't care. Yes. It was funny. Woo! Finally. Shityard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything's better than a coma. I think. Anyway. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, about this dude. Yeah. Uh, but he had like Nazi tattoos too. <laughs> I think. Like oh, I think I think he had like a KKK tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> his uh his uh his job at Fox Chapel was not gonna last. No, but while he was there, he was real sweet. Yeah. And, uh So I remember one time I snuck out of woodshop class because I said, "Hey, Joey, I'm going to the uh, bathroom." Yeah. Uh, and he's like, "Whatever." Cause he doesn't care what I do, because uh, yeah. I was like his favorite student. Yeah. Like, 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 uh, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to the bathroom, because it's like right next door. So I like, but uh, little does he know that I had just ordered a pizza, <laughs> and I was expecting it to arrive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I had to go to the outside uh, doorway to let the pizza guy at, at the door and give me, so he could give me pizza so I could share it with the class. Yeah. So I, uh, I snuck out and I w- walked uh, out door for really just outside and I and then the pizza guy came and it was a big kind of hassle trying to explain to where in, on the school it was like uh, yeah so like nothing the, matters in the art hallway yeah um, it, that, that's like a whole cool. new world yeah but uh so I get the pizza and then turn around and it's the security guard <laughs> looking at me and he's like are you in class and ordering pizza in my hallway I'm like yeah <laughs> he's like I'm like do you want a slice of pizza and he's like yeah <laughs> and like I uh, gave him a slice of pizza like you're good to go <laughs> and then yeah, yeah so, I missed the last two years of high school where he wasn't there yeah that was <laughs> I always forget about the guy but I think it was sweet I don't remember his name or anything yeah it's probably just something like Bill or Tom. I'm, I'm going to ask Kyle if he remembers yeah. any, any other stories about him, too. Yeah. yeah. Well, something that happened in my wood shop was um, a student. Uh, it's still it's up to debate who exactly it was. Um, snuck some... Uh, it was like Epitat. It was a mix like- of Epitat and like um, eye drops into a monster and um he like just gave it to everybody like yeah, yeah. Uh, Every, they, he was just they were just passing around the epitet uh, everyone's like oh can i can i waterfall that monster and yeah they're, like, yeah. And they're all just drinking the epitet flavor everyone uh, drank this uh, s- spiked everyone had a sip of this monster like almost the entire class was drinking this monster and about halfway through mr uh our teacher is trying to teach us how to measure and uh, ev- people like start to feel sick. Everyone's like, "Oh man, I have to go to the bathroom." Oh man, and uh, instantly everybody's vomiting in the class. We had um, everyone was like going uh, going for the uh, garbage cans, like, uh, and he was getting all mad. Just, yeah, like, they thought it was just a, it was just a it was joke. Just goofing on him, but it was uh, but it was serious. People everyone, were poisoned. Yeah, people were poisoned, and uh, everybody threw up. It was funny. <laughs> say your favorite albums of this year were? My favorite albums of 2013, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a toss-up between, um, oh, let's see, well, most of the records from 2013 I listened to this year are, uh, Re-releases. they're, like, reissues of, like, archival recordings that were never released. Yeah. I don't know if that counts. Yeah, um, I don't know, I think it does. To me, it counts, because I don't it would, care. Maybe it would be in, like, a different list. But, I mean, to me, it's just, like, stuff that was released to the public in 2013. Yeah. So, uh, number one, it is a 2013 album. It's called um, "Vagrant Stanzas" by Martin Simpson. Yeah, and uh, it's good. That's a good CD. Mm. And uh, my second is probably uh, it's a record. I, I it, it's it's a year. It, it was a close one. I didn't hear it until not that long ago. It's uh, Peter Walker. Uh, has anybody seen our freedoms? Mm. It's a uh, archival recording from 1970. Mm. And 
it's like all it's just like album but it's all taken in one take and it's just this stream of consciousness uh like improvisation with like in lyrics like he's usually he was usually just an instrumental guitarist like much like like john Fahey and stuff yeah but this album he uh he adds lyrics and he like it's just it's kind of like this weird stream of consciousness and there's no like it, it but it flows really well yeah where's this last container oh. no right, yeah yeah and then uh what else about it it's just a really interesting listen because mm. it's, it's 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 really I think, yeah i think i saw it saw that i have it right here i got it yeah yeah and uh Okay, we should be like, um, we should like put pictures of it on the um, screen. Yeah, in our Tony Hawk. This is like a music show. It's just like just talking about stuff. Yeah. It's like a talk show. Yeah. But we just Tony Hawk. In there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and then uh, uh, other favorites are uh, Daniel Bachman, uh, uh, Jesus, I'm a Sinner. Yeah. Uh, most of my favorite records from this year are just in, like solo guitar albums. Yeah. Dude, that's pretty much like all I listen to. Mm-hmm. Uh, that one and, and um, William Tyler. That's a really good record. Impossible Truth. Yeah. I just ordered that one from Merge Records. And um, uh, let me look at my. I, I made a list mm. on the yeah, music. see it. Okay, so yeah, Peter Walker, and then oh yeah, uh, Don Beekoff, mm. Celestial Explosion. It was released in uh, 1968. Yeah. But like, it was one of those private press records, and it like I don't think there was like more than like three copies of it or something. Yeah. It's just like nobody heard it, so <laughs> they re-released it this year, and uh, it, he he's still alive, so like he just started. He got a comeback, and he, he's been touring and stuff. Yeah. And uh. Uh, Glenn Jones, my garden state. He was a member of a post-rock band uh, Cul de Sac, mm-hmm. and uh, they collaborated with like John Fahey and yeah. stuff. And um, Glenn Jones was like a disciple of John Fahey. And this is a solo, one of his solo records. Yeah. And there's a lot of like ambience and uh, noise and stuff included. And then uh, Liraji, celestial music. Mm-hmm. It's, uh, Laraji was a, uh, he was like a street performer, but he had this, like, this dulcimer, this mountain dulcimer, where you hit, hit it with a hammer. Mm-hmm. No, it's not a mountain dulcimer, it's a hammer dulcimer, and, uh, he turned it into, like, this electric instrument. Yeah. And, uh, like, all of his, and it's just this weird new age stuff, and all of his stuff is just like, yeah. <laughs> but it's, like, played with this, like, uh, hammer dulcimer, it's, like, really interesting, and then... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he like. What was, <laughs> say? Uh, it, he was like just checking my. Checking downstairs. No, no, he didn't touch my balls. <laughs> uh, he uh, <laughs> he uh, he was just like he was like just checking my uh like uh, ears, throat, stuff, and he's he's just like, okay, I'm just gonna check to see if like your your liver is like enlarged or something. Oh. And they rubbed it, but it f- felt really weird. That's not good. And it like made my stomach feel all weird. And ever since then, I've had this weird little feeling in my stomach. Probably gonna die. And like now, and I'll, not like I still feel it. It feels like t- like not. It feels like s- sore or something. Oh. And like that's not good. And like and like. Hope they didn't like cr- uh, break your uh, liver. I don't know, but I don't know if it's my liver or what. Start I don't know what it is. Yellow. Like, but like, yeah, like, you know, I'm feeling this weird thing in my stomach. Finally, let's choose between London or Zoo. Uh, Zoo. Zoo is fun. Yeah, Zoo is actually a great level. It's, it's probably the smallest level in this game. Yeah. It's the smallest level, but it's the most interesting. Even yeah. if it's not a... Pro- oh, it, I think it is a real place, but... There's parts of it that are, like, unlockable, too. Like, you, yeah. like, get parts of it. There's, like, that penguin room. I believe this Australia Zoo is real. I don't know if it looks exactly like this, but, but either it's way... probably based on a real place. The idea of skateboarding around in a zoo, I think, is a pretty cool novel concept. So what was the end of your story about the liver? Uh, I don't know. I still feel this weird thing in my liver. If if it's my liver. If there's any doctors watching. Uh, I don't know. What is the problem? Yeah, I don't know what I'm feeling. (laughs) I might have to, like, take a crap or something. I don't know. (laughs) Uh. Might just be, like, 
ate something wrong. I don't know, it's been like this for like a while though, like... Yeah, here, collect the skate letters. Okay. This will cure my disease. Um, if, you, if you play in Tony Hawk, you won't feel sick. He has the magic power to heal the... Yeah. But like, it was weird, it was like only after he like rubbed my stomach that weird way. He was just, he like, it was like... Weird, and he's like... I told him, I was like, that felt weird. Mm. Like, oh, but crazy. like, but he didn't even like pay attention to what I said. He uh, he's like, there's no thing I'm like, but that felt weird when you did that. And he's like, he didn't even reply to me. Uh, like, Fuck, what the kind of doctor is this? Not taking <laughs> consideration should, my he feelings. He should want to hear how I feel about this. Like when he did that, it was like, it, I don't know. I can't explain the feeling though. Yeah. Like I don't know how I feel. <laughs> so not to interrupt you, but uh, basically, uh, Shipyard and Kona got very little. Uh, yeah, we didn't like do anything to talk about, but guess what? There's nothing to say. I mean, it shipyard is... is a shipyard. It's uh, none of the goals really are that interesting there. You just gotta do stuff. And so, but zoo, zoo is a whole new world. Of zoo is interesting. Interesting there's stuff. Animals. Yeah, there's animals. We just jumped over some hippos. It's, it's there. a pretty ridiculous place. Like yeah. this is where the game gets crazy. Yeah. Like. London is where the game goes down a little bit, but I mean, still London. London's is a nice level, level, though. Yeah, London is nice. It has different, like, areas. You got that water side, a bridge area, and the city. You can wally off some double-decker buses. That's SK. There's A. a. There's the A. Hey. Hey. Okay. Did a hippo plant. Nice. Um, it's the only time you'll be able to do a... Hippo plant. Hippo plant in the Try that in real life, they'll kick you right out of the zoo. Or you'll probably be dead. Yeah, or the hippos Well, I don't know. Will hippos eat you? Yeah. They'll open up their mouth. They'll probably, they'll probably the step throat. on you. Yeah. <laughs> where's, this t where's the tank? I know E's like up here somewhere, I think. Uh, yeah. Like over the hills and far away. Oh god. I'm in the lion's, lion's cage. Lion's Watch this. Ah!